Hey everyone, uh, I'm here with Monty. We are in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. Today, exactly this day, is the 4th of July. For those of you who don't know, it is a uh, holiday celebrated by Americans uh, in honor of uh, the time when they officially broke up with the British. And uh, to celebrate that, we uh, consume a lot of alcohol and food and uh, try to blow up our appendages with traditional Chinese party favors. So we did an Instagram live feed and you guys decided that you wanted to see the Fremont beers. So Fremont Brewing, Monty, fill everyone in. What is Fremont Brewing? Fremont Brewing, uh, it's a good brewery, obviously down in Fremont. Fremont's uh, north of Seattle. It's um, kind of one of the last towns to stay the same in Seattle, just because it didn't need any gentrification. It was always kind of rode that nice line of being a decent place. Um, the brewery, it's been around for, I don't know, five, six years, maybe a little longer. Um, they've done really good things. Um, they have a lot of good special releases. Um, as far as local breweries, I don't know anybody else that has kind of like the national renown, renown for, for having really awesome seasonal releases. And this is what I also heard um, on Instagram. Seattle Beer Enthusiast, great name by the way, uh, posted a f picture of a Fremont beer and said that Fremont Brewing is one of the top five best barrel aging programs in United States of America. So I'm super stoked to be trying this. I really dig uh, the the label. Not only does it give you exactly what's in it and some tasting notes, it says don't afraid to be abominable, but it, then it says down and dirty. The pale chocolate, it's got the whole um, malt bill on there and as well as the hops. Uh, on the nose though, really heady, fantastic. I get a lot of, you know, those rich, dark fruits, kind of like a, a bing cherry syrup, even it's a little bit sweet. Um, not too much bitterness or any of that kind of uh, coffee thing to it, but um, yeah, I just think chocolates and, and almost like a leather note to it. That must be the, the wood, I would say. Yeah, the oak. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's delicious. I think for 11%, one, you don't notice that it's 11% really at all. And you could probably chug a couple of these and be fine with it until you realize that it was so strong. But, um, yeah, it makes Mouthful. me drool. The yeah. age is way different. I'd say oh, that's really? the biggest difference with the age is the carbonation yeah. gets super fine. Huh. Finer carbonation. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because that's part of it. It has really tight bubbles. It's not creamy by any sense, but it definitely, um, like I wouldn't put it over in a nitro area, but, yeah, it's, it doesn't, mm, like, sparkle in your mouth at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also have cats. All fine. Yeah, as far as other tasting notes, it's just super drinkable. Um, do you remember the price of this when you bought it and what you would think it would be black market right now? Uh, I think they're like $16.99, something like that when you first buy them. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it would cost to buy one age. I have no idea. Cats drink beer? Maybe a milk stout. Maybe. Oh, look, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is delicious. Thank you so much for yeah, sharing these. So, uh... We'll go in this direction next. Bourbon barrel aged oatmeal stout, this is a 2014 from Fremont, and it's a blend of 18, 12, and 8 month bourbon barrel aged dark star in 15 year old Kentucky bourbon barrels. A little Zemer break, I don't know if you guys noticed, but, um, well, go watch the Zemer break. Sponsored by Not Zima. Um, this one, whew. Yeah, it's got a little bit more um, that, like, Minor reaction, like a little bit more toastiness, you know what I mean? Like, um, uh, I always associate that flavor with um, meat. I want to say like a little bit more meaty, but I know. Roasted. Yeah. Roasted. Kind of like barbecue, maybe. Yeah. No real smoke, though. Not, yeah, charcoal. The end of the barbecue. This is so fitting for the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. delicious. Yeah. Look how that happens. Nice Isn't it nice when I can do a beer review and that's what happens? I know I feel like I'm negative all the time, but it's because I'm lacking in delicious beers. 
Um, this was me getting drunk in Seattle. Um, if you guys want to see more, you clearly can just watch all the other videos. They're entirely available. Definitely check out Mexico City. Um, it was a complex ride for me. I want to be honest with you, but, um, but I, I, yeah, I had a good time and I'm excited to be in a place where like there's so many delicious things that are readily available. So, um, I'll have more videos up soon as well. Make sure that you check out my Instagram. As you know, I'm most active there. Uh, if you want to support me on Patreon, you absolutely can. Monty High Five for all the beers. Love you so much. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Um, please don't forget to like comment, all that kind of stuff. I love hearing what you have to say. Have you ever had these beers too? I'd love to hear your input. Or if you have any suggestions for Seattle, the Pacific Northwest, I'll be up here for a little bit. And, um, well, mostly. Bye, as they say in America. Bye.